knew from the age of six that I wanted to be, you know, uh, entertaining. I was always entertaining. And then when I landed at Dorothy, I think most people's first role ever as an actress is like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And I knew at that point, I told my parents, hey, countdown to LA starts now. This is sixth grade countdown. And then I got here and then I was like, huh, I love acting. I love everything about it. But as so many people know in LA, it's such a waiting game sometimes. And if you give your power to your agent and you give your power to casting directors and all these people to to make these things happen for you, you, you the, I mean, I, I'm sure that if this is in every job, you can get bitter, you can get uh, restless, you can, because there's so much inside of you. And I believe that if God puts something inside of you, it's your duty to find a way to express it. And so that's what launches me into, I have to write, I gotta get this out. I have to write a space for myself. I have to write a space for somebody else. Believe it or not, whether you're creating, if it's writing, if it's singing, if it's whatever, it begets work. You work on something and then you start getting calls for other projects. It's an energy, you know, it's a, it's a dance. When I'm, when I'm creatively writing, um, the first thing I like to do is just pull from experiences, not necessarily all my own, but the, the biggest thing that we have as creators is we have access to real life people that are going through this real stuff and you got to get it out. I borrowed so many things from friends who will remain nameless. They'll never know <laughs> that I took this messy moment from their life. But um, I, I study people. I'm a people watcher. You know, I think we have to be as as creators, as actors, we have to study mannerisms. So, um, yeah, a lot of it was pulled from, uh, from people that I know. And then a lot of it is, uh, is imagining the people that you know at a heightened level. And I think that um, the joy that I had with writing with uh, director Corey Grant is that we could take real scenarios that we know specifically happened and then say, but, you know, if this one variable had been changed, how might it have played out? And, you know, and that's when it gets fun. That's when it gets juicy. I am most excited about this um, superhero thing. I want to be a superhero so badly, it's insane. And it's always been like one of those, oh, you know, when I get on, I'm gonna be, and now I'm looking at, you know, Marvel, I'm looking at the things that are on the horizon with the, uh, was it the Black, um, the, the Black Panther um, movie coming. It's just, it's incredible to me that these things are happening. And then um, another movie where they, they're calling it a superhero movie with with yeah, with slight and the magic and, and things like that. And I'm seeing it. And it just validates that yes, I too can be a superhero. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for that, who wouldn't be? Okay, so when I saw Luke Cage on Netflix, I wasn't hip to the, 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 the comics. I didn't know where it was gonna go. I was just excited to see so many people that looked like me on screen and in a compelling story with villains. And that's when I just knew, I call him uh, uh, Mahershala Ali. Mahershala Ali, I've always called him Remy ever since House of Cards. But that's when I saw, I was like, this is Mahershala Ali and you will say his name. And he, to me, uh, lifted that entire thing. I mean, all the actors were amazing, but Luke Cage was just, it was juicy for me. It was slow, it's a slow burn, but it was juicy. The hip hop rap, um, let me see, hip hop artists that I enjoy when I'm getting in the zone, I have to listen to them first because I can't listen to lyrics while I'm writing. Otherwise, I lose focus. And I, <laughs> but I love Kendrick Lamar. I love Migos. And not so much hip hop, but kind of in that cut in between, I love Kehlani. Like, that's my, that's my vibe. That's my in the cut, cool girl, chill aesthetic that I need to kind of just get me in the mode. That's what I like.